Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers. The one place for every African girl under 35. And yes, that includes you who is not from the continent of Africa, but loves everything that we do. We appreciate it. Zumba, 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 zumba. African Girl Answers. Zumba. I'm your host, Sandra Fondufe. The age is actually silent like Django. <laughs> Number one, diet. When it comes to having great skin, your skin routine is actually the last thing on the line. Your first thing and most important thing is the diet. We all know that when it comes to skin, leafy vegetables, bright colored fruits in, in, in vegetables are really good for you because they kind of translate to your skin. Uh, for example, you always want to eat foods that are high in antioxidants, uh, vitamin C, and uh, omega-3 fatty acids. The reason why antioxidants are good for your skin is because it helps in the reduction of wrinkles. So the, the, uh, the, way, the way wrinkles work is that um, you kind of address it before it even happens. So if you start taking care of it now, you won't really experience it at the age where you're supposed to experience it. Vitamin C is really, really good for you because it helps with the production of collagen. And collagen actually helps firm the skin. It helps with uh, skin elasticity and firmness. The other thing that's really important is omega-3 fatty acids and this really helps with inflammation which prevent breakouts on the skin. Another really big thing that I've really learned over time on my skin is the use of lemon water. Lemon water is really, really good for you. First, because it has flavor and second, because once more lemon comes from the citrus family and so it has vitamin C. One thing you can really do that I love, I like to drink lemon water in the morning, I kind of heat it up to make it a little bit warm and I just drink the whole thing down. It kind of detoxifies my body and I feel like great from inside out. Number three, working out. The reason why working out is directly related to your appearance and why it's really good for you is because your skin is covered with lots of blood vessels that pump oxygen into the, in the cells of the body. So the less you work out, the less vessels you have kind of available to do that work. So it's a good idea to work out as often as you can. Let's say three times a week if you can. And it doesn't have to be difficult in the gym working out. As easy as a walk, as easy as a dance can really do a lot to improve your appearance. Number five, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Moisturizing your skin is as important as putting a needle through thread when you're trying to sew. It's very important for your skin. <clears throat> it's always a good idea to use something that has SPF. Because contrary to what we think, that as black people, we don't really have uh, cancer or sunburn and stuff. That's actually not true. It's actually a huge lie. As black people, we're equally as prone to that as everyone else. So using SPF is really good because when, this, when the sun burns your skin, it ages faster and it causes wrinkles. Sunburn is actually, the, is actually directly related to, um, to, to wrinkle production in your body. So the more, the more you protect that by using SPF sunblock on your skin, the better it looks. So for my face, I like to use this. This, this, is, for my, this is actually um, tea tree skin clearing lotion and I bought it from the body shop. I really love it. I bought the whole set, that's these three things. I think I got them for about $25 uh, on a Christmas sale. But I think they're more expensive on, on a good day, but hey, it's your skin. You can, you know, spend on it, it's really good. So this is kind of how it feels. It's really light. And you see, I just kind of... And you can see how that looks. It's very light, it smells really fresh, and it's really good for your skin. Number six, do not go to bed with makeup on. Guys, this is actually really, really important to your skincare. And uh, it's, not, it's actually not that difficult to do. Here's the thing. Let's say you don't have that much time. One of the things that I've learned that really works is these makeup remover cloths. This one is actually by e.l.f. Studio Makeup Remover Exfoliating Cleansing Cloths. Look at this. It cost me only $3. And it's very, very effective. Sometimes, if you don't have that much time, let's say you work really hard, you're very busy, I get it, you can just use that and go to sleep. But if you have a little more time, it's a good idea to actually wash your face with water. And when you're done, then I use this. This is actually my night solution. And I use this one by Clinique. It's called Clinique Turnaround Overnight Radiance Moisturizer. That's how it looks. Number seven on my list is eye cream. Eye cream is actually one of the most important things in your skincare, ladies. 
the thing about us as humans is we like to focus on the cure as, a, as opposed to preventing whatever disease it is. So when it comes to eye cream, you have to understand that the tissues around your eye are actually way less elastic and thinner than those on the rest of your face. So as time goes on with the, uh, the wearing and tearing of age, you get more wrinkles here because this is very thin. Now, if you, if you handle that before it even happens, then you never get to experience it. So, I'm going to show you. This is my eye cream that I use. It's actually a little, uh, this is actually just a sample bottle that I got because like I said, I'm actually abroad right now. So everything I'm using is lots of travel sizes. So I could carry all my products with me. This is how it looks. It's kind of a clear, not that thick. And how you would apply it on your eye would be something like so. So around this part because it's light and around this part of your eye. Tissues are really light. So I'm just gonna there you go. Number eight on my list is your makeup habits. Healthy makeup habits lead to healthier skin. Poor makeup habits lead to horrible skin. Now three things when it comes to your makeup habits that you must always, always do is this. Number one, avoid wearing heavy coverage every day of your life. Some of us girls wear makeup heavy coverage every single day of your life and that's really bad in the long run. Another thing that you can try to do when it comes to your makeup habits is clean your makeup brushes. Now these babies are really good because they help us, you know, this is actually a uh, fan brush from e.l.f. It helps you when you're, you know, doing your makeup. <clears throat> but then what happens when you use this all the time without washing it? It carries bacteria which you carry into your skin and that is really bad because it can lead to like breakages, right? So you want to clean your brushes as much as you can. This is a daily brush cleaner. It actually, I just, if, I, if I'm trying to hurry up, I can just kind of spray this. Hmm, it smells really fresh. And then I just kind of use it for whatever it is I wanted to use it for. And my brush is cleaner. And this one is kind of new. I haven't opened it yet because I have another one over there. Uh, this is just the Elf, this is just the Elf brush shampoo. I use this to wash my brushes once every week. Another thing that is really, really important is to wear makeup that is free of harsh chemicals like parabens. So you know, most commercial brands, uh, they don't care about you, just like every other big company, all they care about is profit. So they don't put healthy things in their makeup and that, you know, when you put that, over time you can get cancer. The next thing I want to talk to you about is actually great facials. Your skin is part of your body. It needs to relax and you have to take care of it and pamper it every now and then. You know, you can actually have facials and massages and contrary to the name, it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to go splurge $100 somewhere to kind of do it. Sometimes you can also just do it at home. And one of my favorite specials that I'm going to show you really fast, you use, this is bentonite clay. You can get this in most stores. Uh, and I use apple cider vinegar. Once you mix this together and put it on your face and wash it off, it has more of a Botox feel. You kind of feel like because your face is like really well done. Uh, so that's something you can do. You can also buy some of these. These are just like a dollar each that I got at a 99 cent store. New pour. This one is aloe. This is cucumber. And uh, I'm going to be donating this at the end of this video to a lucky winner. So these are really good for you. You can just kind of like put it in five minutes, talk on your phone, and you're out. The other thing is vitamin C serum. I had previously mentioned to you that vitamin C is actually great for you. It's really, really good for every part of your body, right? Now, vitamin C serum is really good for you. I have these two brands. These are a little more on the expensive side, but when it comes to skincare, some things can be cheaper, like this, but some things have to be expensive, unfortunately. Uh, I, I got this from Amazon. It's called Valencia. Valencia Even Glow Serum. It has 20% of vitamin C. I got this for about, I think it was about $85 when I got this. Uh, this one is Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. It's for normal to dry skin, which is what I have. This has retinol. I'm going to talk about this later on, but this is really, really good for you. So you don't have to have all two. One or the other is kind of good, but vitamin C is really good because it helps in the production of collagen, like I said before. Number nine on my list is collagen. Like I said before, it's great for your skin. Why? Because it helps in the prevention of wrinkles. Now, this one again has retinol and collagen. So I once met this lady who was about 50 something years old and I thought she was 30 and I'm talking to her and then she said, well, during, uh, she, she mentioned something that happened a long time ago and I'm like, how do you know that yourself? Because I was there. And I'm like, what? But 
This is a tip if you want to have great skin when you're old. Number 10, coconut oil. Coconut oil is like a blessing to God for skin. It's actually really, really good for your skin. It can be, it can be used for all kinds of reasons, but I don't have any with me right now because I actually finished it, the one I brought here from the US. But I also have olive oil I took from my mother's kitchen, which I'm gonna show you. Uh, olive oil, avocado oil, any oil derived from an, a fruit, not or a seed, is really good for your skin. This is very natural. It can moisturize and your hair as well. So you can use this for your skin. I, I just kind of use it as lotion sometimes. So these are a few things that I kind of use on my skin to make it look as flawless as it looks. And if you have any other tips that are really good, please drop that in here to win any of these. And more exciting prices. And like I said, in future videos, I'm going to show you how to do my, my, my Sandra special clay mask. And also, any other thing that is mentioned here that you would like to know more about, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll also keep that in mind. <clears throat> so, it's been really, really nice having you guys on the show today and I hope you learned something about how to take care of your skin and keep it glowing. Don't forget that it's not just about the products, but also what you put in your skin, <clears throat> what you put in your body, and how you treat the outside part of your body as well. This is Sandra Fondu for your host and you can find me on social media Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Sandra Fondufi. I'm going to put the name at the bottom of the video. I love you guys and have a great, great day. Suba! Hello. Ça va? Tu as quelque chose à dire? C'est Sandra Fondufi. Ah, ah, ah. African girl, what do you do? Fondufi, get in for tell you. So grab your rubber and get your shoe and